Hey, wake up. Uh. Wake up. No. Come on, you're missing it. Is it sleep? Because you'd be right. Smell the air. Smell it. Oh, it smells cold. Come on. What? No, it's freezing. Come on. Yes. <laughs> The floor's cold. Jeez, you're so obsessed with the cold. Because it's cold. I know. Come on. Oh, I want some rat scramble. I'm turning numb. Keep moving. Are my feet still attached to my body or they snap off coming down the stairs? They're still there. Why are we out here? Take a deep breath. What? Do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I smell snow. What? It's coming. I always know. I can smell it and I'm never wrong. It wasn't in the forecast. <sighs> It's just my favorite time of the year. The whole world changes color. I think I'm blacking out. Flakes, flurries, swirls, crystals, whatever form it comes in, I'll take it. We go back, Snow and me. We have a beautiful history. Saw two forecasts, neither of them mentioned snow. Cold, but no snow. Sleigh rides, ice skating, snowball fights. I'll even take curling. God, I love curling. Hans Cranston on Channel 6 said it would be dry. Kimmy Liston live at 5, same thing, no snow, nothing. Hot cocoa, hot toddies, best time of the year. Jimmy Mountain in AccuChopper 1 said it would be weeks before we... Vance and Kimmy are idiots. Welcome, friends. Going inside now. But... One more whiff, and then so are you. Luke! Streetwalker. Too urban. Concubine. Seems highfalutin. Anyone see Farewell, My Concubine? Beautiful film, gorgeous cinematography. I'm surprised you see such adult fare, Reverend. What, you picture me watching Sound of Music every night, Taylor? Gag me. Scarlet Woman. I like it. To Nathaniel Hawthorne. Who? Read a book. Harlot. Nah. Woman of accommodating morals. Too long. Hot mutton. I wouldn't know where to begin. What are you guys doing? Well, the uh, first snow has arrived, Luke, and with the first snow comes the town's Revolutionary War reenactment. Always a heel-clicking good time. Oh, well, we've got a big surprise for everybody this year. Great, I'll pretend I'm interested. It's a big deal, Luke. Yeah, it's the same thing every year, Reverend. You guys reenact a time a bunch of pig-headed morons stood outside all night in the freezing snow waiting for a battle that never happened. This year is different, Crank. A local historian uncovered new evidence of Stars Hollow's participation in the Revolution. Apparently, an English battalion was awaiting the return of their commanding general with plans for a big battle. Our soldiers caught wind of this and blocked the high road so that the general had to travel by the lower road through town to reach his troops. So they kidnapped him. <laughs> oh, they were much slyer than that. They had a brave lady of the town use her wiles to draw the general to her rooms and keep him occupied there. That delayed the general's arrival, which allowed Lafayette the opportunity to ambush the waiting British troops. A hooker stopped a battle. We're not calling her a hooker. It's too Beretta. That's what we're doing now, trying to figure out what the hell to call her. Bit of stuff. Too Monty Python. This new reenactment is going to be a huge boost to tourism, Luke. The local press is all excited to cover it. Well, then they're very easily amused. Got a big cat. Casting session soon to pick the lucky townswoman to play our special lady. She should be thin. But not too thin. Know anybody who fits the bill? Not offhand, but if I run into any moderately weighted whores in my travels, I'll let you know. Well, Patty is ready to Morning. Morning, Morning again. How oh, cool the reenactors are meeting. Just another wonderful byproduct of snow. Oh, yes, they're cooking up something very special. You want coffee? No, I'm late, so I'll just grab it at the end. I'm actually looking forward to my first cup of hot joe at my new snow covered inn. And, and why are the reenactors staring at me? You wouldn't believe it if I told you. The Reverend is blushing. Why is he blushing? <sighs> I'd walk out of here if I was you and try not to walk too sexy. Okay, you'll explain that to me later? I'd enjoy that. Okay. Hi, guys. Pretty lady. Too thin. This is not about your taste, Andrew. I'm going for historical accuracy, Cy. Women were heavier back then. How about your wife? You want a sock in the nose? 